the literary quarter, Barrio de las Letras, is a historic and culturally rich district located in the heart of Madrid. It is known for its association with some of Spain's most famous literary figures, making it a significant cultural and historical area. The neighborhood is closely associated with famous authors such as Miguel de Cervantes, the author of Don Quixote, who lived and died in this area. Other notable literary figures who were connected to the neighborhood include Lope de Vega, Tirso de Molina, and Francisco de Quevedo. It contains several museums and cultural institutions dedicated to the lives and works of famous authors. For example, the Lope de Vega House Museum. Step inside and travel back in time to the 17th century, when Lope de Vega penned his timeless works. Felix Lope de Vega, was one of the most prolific and celebrated playwrights and poets of the Spanish Golden Age. His work includes 3,000 sonnets, three novels, nine poems, and around 500 plays. The museum is a treasure trove of Lope de Vega's literary legacy. Manuscripts, books, and personal items belonging to the playwright are on display. In addition, the house contains works of art, furniture, kitchenware, and books on the former owner and his age. The house's architecture and decor have been lovingly preserved, providing a glimpse into Lope's domestic world. Calle de las Huertas, the main street running through the neighborhood, is lined with historical buildings, many of which have plaques commemorating the writers who lived or frequented the area. It's a pleasant street for strolling and exploring. The literary quarter was once the home and gathering place of many renowned Spanish writers and artists during the Spanish Golden Age, particularly in the 16th and 17th centuries. Nowadays, there are a lot of pedestrian streets, and on some of the pavement stones you'll see quotes in golden letters by important authors. The neighbourhood is dotted with traditional Spanish cafes and tapas bars, making it a great place to enjoy Spanish cuisine and immerse yourself in the local culture. Plaza de Santa Ana is one of the spots most frequented by locals and visitors. It features monuments to Spanish Golden Age writer Pedro Calderón de la Barca and to the poet and playwright Federico García Lorca. Teatro Español, the oldest theatre in Madrid, is located on the plaza's east side. The Ateneo de Madrid is a prominent cultural and literary institution founded in 1835 by a group of prominent intellectuals and scholars. The institution is housed in a historic building in the center of Madrid. The building itself is of architectural and historical significance, reflecting the cultural heritage of the city. Its establishment was part of the cultural and intellectual revival that occurred during the Spanish Enlightenment period. The Ateneo's mission has always been to promote and advance culture, science, literature and the arts. It serves as a center for intellectual and cultural exchange and encourages public engagement with these disciplines. The library of the Ateneo de Madrid is made up of 150,000 titles of monographs, including a collection of 27,000 pamphlets. The newspaper library contains 2,800 titles from newspaper and scientific magazine collections, covering around 100,000 volumes. Its reading room stands out, one of the most beautiful in Madrid. It also houses an extensive library that contains a vast collection of books, manuscripts and periodicals. We hope you have enjoyed this video and we'll see you soon in Connolly Cove.